good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy s22 the exynos chipset model and uh, today i'm going to flash the beyond rom on this mobile phone so we will get uh, many features that usually not come with the stock rom but after flashing the beyond rom yes we will get that features So if you are interested to flash the beyond ROM on your mobile phone, then the things you must know that your phone must have an Exynos chipset. This ROM is not working on Snapdragon. And second thing, we have to unlock the bootloader to get the recovery and to get the ROM. Now, how to flash the ROM? Watch the further video. Do not forget to like the video if you are getting help from my videos. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do not forget to subscribe it. Stick with my channel. Thank you so much. So links are provided in my video description to download these files. This is the beyond ROM which is like uh, we have to flash it with the with the help of Odin. And uh, yes, we have to download Odin also. Links provided. You can see that this is for S901B. This ROM particularly will be flash on s901b in case if you have uh, exynos other model number then you need to check the link because this rom will not work if your model number is not 901b right so after downloading must extract the rom file in same folder and must extract the odin file also then open the extracted folder of the rom file so you will see many files which are having a tar extension so these files can only be flashed with the odin and how to flash let me show so i will go back to my downloaded folder and i will open the extracted folder of the odin and then double click to open the odin click ok on this pop-up window and then odin we have to select the files according to the file name by, by uh, clicking the slot so first i will click the bl slot then i will go to my downloaded folder where i have downloaded the files and i will open the extracted folder of the rom and i will double click to select the file starting from the bl this one double click to select the file then click ap slot go back double click to select the file starting from the ap then click cp and double click to select the file starting from the CP and then the last one C CSC double click to select the file home CSC right so the Odin is now ready coming back towards the mobile phone now there are a few things that we have to do must we have to do before uh, starting the flashing procedure and what are those first of all you need to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged right and uh, you need to save all the internet storage data the data will get formatted then go to settings and uh, you need to connect internet on your mobile phone if you have a mobile data turn it on or if you have a wi-fi then connect a wi-fi with your mobile phone and after connecting internet first check the software update tap download and install well my mobile phone is up to date right i will go back and then i will go back and i will go to about phone yes this is galaxy s22 model number is s901b optic ds i have got dual sim mobile phone so both i mean numbers over here tap the software information so the mobile phone is updated to the one ui version 6.1 android 14 build number if you can see the last alphabet or digit is r y b one right now tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven developer mode has been enabled we'll go back then uh, we'll go to developer options and we need to turn on the oem unlocking but the oem unlocking is actually restricted by the auto blocker so we have to turn off the auto blocker also i will go back then i will search tabs to search b l o c k this one auto blocker tab to select it then this one turn it off okay i will go back to settings and again i will go to developer options and this time you can see that oem locking is prominent now 
so turn it on because we have to turn on the oem unlocking to unlock the bootloader and also after turning on this oem unlocking the mobile phone will allow us to unlock the bootloader and the kg state will become checking after doing this go back then go to accounts and backup if you have samsung account sync it and then remove it and in case if you are using google account sync it must remove it to avoid issues later on go back then go to lock screen and turn off the screen lock by selecting swipe if you have done all these things you need to power off the mobile phone now you need to check the data cable the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer and use a good quality of data cable for flashing for for uh, mobile phone charging right now the mobile phone is supposed to be power off we have to boot the mo mobile phone into ordin mode press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few second warning screen will get appears and release both keys now on this screen press the volume up key for little long to boot the mobile phone into the bootloader unlocking screen long press volume up key the another screen will get appears unlock bootloader press the volume up key to unlock the bootloader or press the volume down key to cancel it yes i need to unlock the bootloader to get the beyond rom so i will press the volume up key but when mobile phone restart immediately i will press the volume up key volume down key to boot my mobile phone one second into warning screen right pressing the volume up key waiting for it and then i will press and hold the volume up volume down key once again to boot my mobile phone into warning screen now press the volume up key to boot the phone into ordin mode now the ordin mode screen is supposed to be kg state must show checking the frp lock must show off the oem lock must show off in a brackets u which means that bootloader is already unlocked so the phone got booted into ordin mode and connected already with computer and ordin detected the mobile phone also right simply i will click start to start flashing procedure now it will take a time so we have to wait here the flashing is about to be done and when flashing gets done the mobile phone will automatically restart or reboot it will boot automatically to twrp recovery to do the erasing thing well flashing got done i can see pass message on the ordin and i am done from the computer i will click reset and will exit the ordin you can see that uh, twrp appears and uh, it is doing the things that i just said and it will automatically restart and then it will start booting to the beyond rom so i will go back to my downloaded folder and uh, right now i am done from the computer so when the mobile phone started booting we have to do one more thing and that is uh, check the cable must be connected with computer and with mobile phone also so press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key we have to boot the phone into twrp once again when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first then when mobile phone samsung logo appears then release the power key just wait 1 2 3 4 5 now release the volume up key and wait let the mobile phone boot into twrp so when recovery appears then tap the y then tap advance y select delvic art cache and cache swipe when done go back go back then swipe to factory reset when done then go back tap format data type y e s then tap here when done then tap reboot system now the phone will start booting and uh, it will uh, boot finally because the first time the mobile phone showing that it is booting but it was actually a boot loop now i'm not pretty sure that this thing will happens to your mobile phone also but it is happening with my mobile phone and that is why i reboot into recovery and do the format data now the phone started booting and uh, it will finish the first boot and finally the first boot completed 
because when I flashed this ROM for the first time on my mobile phone, I was waiting, waiting, but the first boot was not getting completed. That is why I did the format data thing because the phone, when it get the ROM, then, then it boot straight to the TWRP recovery, but it then it reboots itself, not letting me to do the format data thing. That is why I rebooted into TWRP after when mobile phone started booting to the ROM. Now the uh, first boot completed, I will complete the setup screen. First thing, after looking to the ROM, you will see that this is same just like a stock ROM. Yes, this looked like a stock ROM, but actually this is not a stock firmware. This is actually a customized ROM. Galaxy S22 901B Oblique DS tapping the software information. Software information screen is showing that the ROM is actually beyond ROM, beyond ROM version 6.0 and uh, 25th march 2025 the date it was it got release the rom developer name one ui version is 6.1 and white 14 the build number this one right few more things that coming with the rom so this rom is pre-rooted but if we install the magis that comes with the rom in the extracted folder of the rom then the rom will get rooted 100% right now alpha you can see the icon is not prominent but if you want to make the icon prominent then you need to install the magis version that comes along with the rom folder now let me show i will go back to my computer screen first i will allow my mobile phone to connect with the computer okay i got the internal storage on my computer screen then i will go to open my extracted folder of the beyond rom and I can see that the beyond ROM coming also with the Magisk Alpha, this version, APK format. Copy this file from the downloaded folder. Go to your internal storage of your mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage. When done, okay, I am done from the computer. Now I will disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Unlocking the screen, we'll go back, then we'll go to uh, menu and i will tap the samsung folder to open the my files we'll tap the internal storage file is over here tap to start installing it give permission by tapping settings then allowing and then update and now going back to menu now you can see that the alpha which was uh, not prominent before now it is prominent if i tap the alpha the magis will get open requires additional setup your device needs additional setup for magis to work properly do you want to proceed and reboot tap ok we have to do once to make the things uh, to be working fine so the mobile phone reboot it and the magis version is over there connect internet on the mobile phone if you have wi-fi connect it otherwise you can turn on the mobile data after mobile phone connected with internet open chrome search for play integrity fix p l a y i n t e g this one play integrity fix tap it then tap the first link then tap the three dots and tap desktop site come here and tap releases and download the latest version whatever version available done now go to menu tap to open the magisk tap settings scroll down turn on zygisk go back tap modules tap install from storage and the module file that i just downloaded play integrity fix tap to select the file and then tap ok to let the mobile phone install it when done go back to main screen then go to settings then to apps and search for p l a y we have to clear the data of these two apps first select the play services then uh, go down and uh, tap storage then tap clear data clear all data delete done go back and then select google play store scroll down tap 
storage clear data delete turn and simply go back to main screen restart the mobile phone so the mobile phone finally booted once again if i tap the magis application to open it the routing application if you want to check the rom is rooted you need to download the root checker if i go to modules the modules are is working perfectly there is no red lines now login your gmail account you will check the mobile phone will device certify use the rom the way you are using stock rom do not forget to like the video and uh, keep watching it i will see you in my next video until then goodbye